So guys, welcome back to yet another video. In this one today, we are going to be focusing on the 88 rated Paolo Dybala. Now don't worry, we're not going to be playing him as a centre mid. In game, we're going to be switching to the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow and he's going to be up front with Latura Martinez. So that's how we're going to set up in game. So yeah. Um, if you guys could leave like rating on this video, that would be very much appreciated. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this item. Also, let me know which other players you want me to do a video on. I've done a bunch already, and there's a link in the description to my FIFA 21 player review playlist, so feel free to check that out at your leisure. Anyway, let's talk about Dybala, who looks very good this year. Um, Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. Happy with the skill moves, not so much with a weak foot, but what can you do? Medium, medium wear crates on this guy as well. The previous owner of this card must have had a fun time with him because he has an insane record. Nearly 400 goal contributions um, in just over 100 games, which is pretty mad. I'm guessing he played a bit of squad battles. Um, in terms of player traits, finesse shot, flair, and outside the foot shot. And in terms of in-game stats... Wow, there is a lot to like there. Look at all those greens. Pace looks very nice. Shooting looks great. Passing looks very, very good for an attacking player. And the dribbling looks elite. So, uh, yeah, in terms of technical ability, this card looks outstanding. So, I'm expecting good things from it. And those kind of stats for 100k, in theory, seem absolutely brilliant value. So, hopefully, this card is going to be very effective in-game. We're going to use the Hunter Kemp style on him to boost his pace and his shooting. So hopefully that helps out as well. The physicals don't look anything too special, but they don't look awful either. But um, yeah, we're not here to focus on numbers. So let's get in some games and let's see if these stats reflect well in matches. Okay then, so up for us first is a pretty standard Premier League side. Couple of good players in there, the likes of Rodrigo um, and Kieran Tierney do indeed stand out. But aside from that, I won't lie, I'm expecting to win this game. Dybala with a nice pass on to Lutero Martinez. Here's a chance to break now. Early chance to take the lead and we'll do exactly that. That's a brilliant break from the goal kick. That's a great counter-attack. And Dybala the main man there as well. Tidy finish. Martinez sees Dybala make the run. The free ball wasn't great but we will make the most of it. And here's Lutero Martinez who flicks the ball on the inside. Dybala just can't quite get on the end of it. Martinez... Finds the ball there. Right footed strike, and that finds the back of the net. Keeper didn't even move. The ball showed good uh, ball control there as well, just switching uh, to his other foot before pinging it into the back of the net with a tidy finesse. Three goals in the first like 12 minutes of this game. It's um, it's going to be one of their matches, isn't it, where the game's going to end like 7 6 or something. Oh, the ball's done so well to beat his man with a flick. Oh, that would have been a brilliant goal. We should have finished there. We could have took an extra yard, but I just wanted to score the spectacular. Nice, nice opportunity. We're going to go for that near post and we're going to score as well. Weak foot as well. I won't lie, I wanted it on his left. I wanted him to ping it into that corner, but uh wasn't to be. But nonetheless, same outcome. It's a goal. Weak foot, strong foot. Ended up in the back of net. I don't care. Nice, nice. Here's a chance to bow it in behind. We have options. We're going to find one of them options and we're going to make it four. Hazard with a pretty simple finish in the end. All the work done by the Argentinian on the wing. Well, who was coming off the wing anyway. Well, there's half time. It's 4-2 at the break and, uh, yeah, six goals in the first 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, being one of those games where, like, shots are just flying in. Um, as you can see, we've been pretty clinical for the most part. Every shot we've had on target has gone in, which is nice. If only we had a 100% shot accuracy rate, then uh, maybe we'd be 7 to up. I don't know. Anyway, second half. Hopefully more goals to come. Let's go. Oh, good ball and a good run too. Come on, here we go. Keepers off his line. We'll dink him. And that will be four or five. Ooh. Ooh. Almost denied. Almost. But luckily, it ends up in the back of the net. Wow. <laughs> that was close. Okay, there is the full-time whistle and uh, the Bauer is going to be taking home the match ball in this fixture and he scored some really nice goals in that game too. So, uh, yeah, very, very good opening display. Round two with Paolo Dybala as the main man and it's another Premier League side. Um, this one, not too amazing to be honest. The best player in this team, probably Ndidi. So, uh, hopefully we can do some damage against this side, but who knows? Maybe he'll be a better player than I, and I'm going to eat my words at full time when I've somehow lost this game 4-0. That's a good bit of play. The Bauer! Oh, he's nicked it! 
well. Gotta admit, didn't think that one would go in. But um, aerial goal for Dybala very early on. Dybala tackled, but keeps possession. He's done well too. Got the finesse now. Ooh, good save from Lena. Nice. Hazard. Dybala. Oh, good bit of link-up play there. Chance. Put it on that left foot. Oh, wow. The defender got to him just in time. Oh, nice. Here's the opportunity to break now. Come on, you've got the pace on Diaz. You've got the pace on him. Cross goal strike. That's in the back of the net. Nice finish. Very, very nice finish. Very powerful, accurate strike. And there is half time. So we lead 3 2 at the break. Um, Much closer game than what I thought it would be. Fair play to my opponent, who definitely has a much lesser team, but um, he's putting up a fight. Oh, nice. Nice bit of interchange there between Toro Martinez and Davala. My opponent doesn't know what to do with his keeper. We'll make the decision for him and we'll put the ball in the back of the net. 4 4. Yeah, this game's mad. Nice. Good run from Dabala. In behind. Finish this. There we go. Our lead is restored. Whew. And after that, my punch rage quit. Wow. I honestly didn't expect that. He was literally 4 3 up. Um, a few moments ago, but nonetheless, we'll take that very good performance from Dybala. Both him and Latoura in that game were very effective playing off each other, so really, really happy with that. Fair play to my opponent, by the way. I know he did end up rage quitting, but he put up a very good fight with with a team which, let's be honest, like just isn't worth all that much compared to mine. So, uh, GG's and uh, GG to Dybala and Martinez, who, like I say, were outstanding in that fixture. Well, now we've had a few more games with this Power Devour item. What's the verdict on the card? Um, bear in mind, I used him in a bunch of different positions. He was used at striker, at cam, and even on the wing for me. I thought he was really, really good in game, to be honest. I really did enjoy using him, and his left foot is absolutely lethal at times, which is obviously a very big positive to this card. I like the pace, but it is worth mentioning. Definitely feel like the Hunter Kemp style helped out with that a lot. I know that's kind of stating the obvious, but I feel like it does need to be mentioned. So if you're going to use this guy, do advise that Kemp style. Um, in terms of scoring goals, like you, you saw, there, there was no issues. Like the guy can finish. The guy can certainly finish in and around the box, and even from outside the box, he's a threat as well. And what I was pleasantly surprised with was. His right foot actually isn't that bad. Now, is it reliable? Not really, but is it awful? No. So, I'm um, happy with that for the most part. For a freestyle weak foot, I'm happy with it. Let's just put it that way. Positionally, this card is pretty strong. You saw um, he makes some really nice runs, gets in behind, and gets into good areas, which is obviously great. And he linked up very well with players around him. Now, we come on to the passing, which was great. For a striker, his passing is excellent. Could you play this guy as a cam? Yes, you certainly could. His crossing's good, his shot pass and the link-up play is nice, and his through balls are to a good standard as well. So if you wanted to, definitely could be played as a cam. This card offers great utility value. You can pretty much play him in any attacking role, which is obviously a huge benefit. And the best thing about this card was the next department, which is, of course, the dribbling. I just liked him on the ball, to be honest. He showed really good ball control. His first touch for the most part was absolutely immaculate, and his agility felt really, really nice in game. He's... He's just easy to have in possession of the ball. He's a fun play to have in possession of the ball, and that just made him fun to use. So really, really happy with this card's dribbling. It is excellent. Um, physically, eh, that's probably one of the more downsides to his card. Now, is he terrible? No, but his strength and aggression just isn't that great in game and up against the top tier defenders they are going to dispossess this card rather easily fortunately though like we've touched on he's dribbling his class so he can maneuver around defenders and you will have to do that especially in weekend league because if this guy gets caught by an elite defender he probably will lose the ball so you've got to use that dribbling to uh, avoid uh, would-be defenders at all costs but um aside from the physical stats this card is excellent from a technical stand uh, standpoint brilliant card and I think 100k is great value for this item, to be honest. If you're running with a Serie A side, this would definitely be one of the go-to striker options, or an Argentinian theme side, or even a hybrid. For 100k, like I say, I think he offers great value, and I love the fact that he is a bit of a utility attacker as well, because you can just put him into so many different positions. So uh, definitely worth a pick up, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, this card will probably drop in price in coming weeks, probably after the first weekend league. 
Um, and if he, if he does go under 100k, I think he's an absolute bargain, to be honest. So definitely a card worth considering. And if you do use him, Hunter Kemp style is what I advise. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this Power of the Bower item. Aside from a couple of physical stats and the freestyle weak foot, excellent card and definitely worth a go. If you could leave a like rating on the video, that would be great. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.